Jabang, haven't we? We have in Davis in absolutely everything tonight. Well, to the end. we Our have Paul Swawinski. Trains at the, the Flinders Muay Thai Gym. Resides in Sanu. Australia. From Poland. From Kathleen Monasanu. From Romania. Trains at the SS Kotanali Scorpions Gym. Super Combat Champion. Well, Katsune Morisano is a lot of people's tip to be the next champion of K1. He really is. Is he yours? He's one of my favourites, yes, to go through. Okay. I've seen him several times. Very, very, very compact style. Very explosive. You've seen him with some other fighters. But smart too. 24 years of age. Um, trains exceptionally hard. He's also... I believe a governor or a mayor or a councillor. Yeah, that's very, very true. He's a, he's a, he's a councillor where he lives. I know he used to do uh, rugby, and he switched from rugby to to fighting, and uh, yeah, it's quite successful. In the beginning, he had a lot of problems with uh, defense and everything. But what I like to see, oh look, the the the, the rugby uh, hacker. Haka, exactly. And, and Tyler many years ago um, had a, a Muay Thai background before he sort of got into the K1 sort of style. He has a good body kick, heavy. It's a little bit slow, but he does have some power. Exactly. There you go, inside information from two resident experts, Kieran Kettle, a three-time world champion, and Mr. Perfect at the end, K1 legend, and Esther Hoost. Well, I wonder how uh, Paul's defense was. Morrison, again, short, very stocky, very quick with his hands. World champion, 192 centimeters tall, 112.5 kilograms. From a village near Krakow, Poland, he's back with the ball. Paul Slowinski. Oh, no stranger to the K1 scene at all. Is it the, another exchange? Is it another new kid on the block? Katalin Morasanu. This is Paul Slowinski, Paul in the black shorts, Morasanu in the green. I mean, expect speed from Romania and, of course, power from Poland. Oh, I, expect, I expect some power from Romania too. Right? Yes. Yes. Morasanu yes. looks like he means business, etched across the face of the Romanian. <laughs> Especially the right and the left hooks of him. Uh. Southpaw coming in really, really wants this. He always works the body, comes up with hooks and uppercuts. So looks shot in Slowinski, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got to watch out. He gets close. Oof, big I mean, left I mean it is quite clear what, what Catalin does. Uh, he likes to... He likes to kill. Well, of course, but uh, that we all we all like to kill. But uh, the hooks, the hooks, uh, that that is his thing. Yeah. I mean, if you go straight with 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 him, then then you could get him in trouble. Well, it's a short, the shortest distance, isn't it, between the areas? It's straight. Yeah. Exactly. The Catalin does like to cut you off as well. He won't just follow you around. He will cut you off. Then body shots yeah. hurt Slowinski. Then as he moves back. Pushing him back. Swinski's calling him in. Oh, he stays at the ropes. Takes a big body kick there from Slowinski. Needs to kick. He uses weapons. There's that body kick with Kieran Kettle. Rightly called. Heavy, heavy body kick. Big left hook. Strong, isn't he, Marasano, but one-dimensional. Yeah, strong guy. Strong he's strong, guy. but showy. He's one-dimensional, one dimensional, exactly, isn't he? Exactly as you said. But he can take a punch too. Certainly can. 24 years of age. He's already he taken a punch. here.
He is a big star of Romania. Big left cross, screaming instructions from the Romanian. He's cut over the right eye. He's cut over the right eye, Morasanu. I can see what had happened. Sharp left hook from Slowinski. Still. Oh, a great left hook by Morisano again. <laughs> Takes a deep breath in. Showing defiance, Slowinski trying to get some power back into himself, jigging up and down, moving to the left away from the big left hook of. Morisano. For Morisano, it's, it's extremely fit as you can see there. He took yeah. some stuff, his hands are low, he's got to watch out for a head kick. Yep. Yeah. yeah, well, he, I mean, although he, uh, he has become a real fighter, there are still some things he has to work on and uh, some, some, some things you can take advantage of. Flag. Yep. Tactical and wise words wow. from the man legend Ernesto <laughs> Wu's round two K1 here in Japan. Do I like about Rosano? He doesn't muck around, he gets straight in there. Stick to his style, very exciting. Does take too many shots though, a bit could've wild. Could have done a better job with that caught in the corner. Yes, there we go. High kick there, wobbles! Morisano! Like Kieran said, he's going to watch it. The high kick was really strong. Someone's going to get clipped. Wobbled him then, Ernesto. Yeah, that's how it looks like. Yeah. Momentarily wobbled him. And that's Paul. Paul likes the fight. But then he forgets that uh, he can get caught too. Paul has many skills, but sometimes he doesn't always, doesn't always use them. You just see there a moment. Great, great head kick. Nice. There you go. Great move. Why is he keeping his hands so low? I mean, those kind of things. It's happening a lot, isn't it? The uh, fighters just just using punches, throwing the punches around, and they're forgetting about the leg kicks and the head kicks. Oh, I mean, I mean, there's not only punches. There's also kicks. You know, that's that's the, the beauty of the of the fight. I mean, you, you have so many different moves to use. Different weapons. Different weapons. So it pulls very tight, but it's still finds some heavy techniques. He's still scoring, isn't he? He is. Yeah. Some good oh, combinations. He's doing a lot better this round, actually. But then with Catalin, you always think that yeah, he can end the fight just like that with the, with the, with the, with the big hooks on him. Yep. He is taking two oh, heavy shots. He's using some good skills though, isn't he? He is. He's old manning out of it, isn't he, Solinski? He's using the intelligence. Very experienced. He's had nearly 100 fights, you know. For a heavyweight, it's a lot. Yeah, but Paul, Paul is the strongest when he moves forward. When he moves backwards, he's not that strong. He has to go forward. But then he keeps his hands so low. Right? Coming up to the dying seconds of this. Sorry, the last 30 seconds of this heavyweight clash. It's been interesting. Both of these look tired now. Paul Slominski doing a hell of a lot of moving to his left, but moving away from the power hand of Morisano. Last 10 seconds of this second round. Here Slewinski. in Tokyo. Slewinski. I'm still watching as a god, so I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, Slewinski, last bit of air, but still, seems to work the kicks. But if he punched straight, it would be a hell of a different fight, wouldn't it? They've also, yeah, they've also come into a game plan to yeah. try and get over the top of the punch. Yeah. The trouble is with the game plans, once you start it, you can't get out of it if it's not working. That's true. Oh, you have to change. You have to be, you have to... Uh, have plan A to Z. There's an old, there's an old saying, if plan A doesn't work, do plan A better. <laughs> Big shot oh. to the hand, to the side of the head of Paul Slowinski, down he goes. He seems okay, as he steadies himself on the ropes. Morisano with a big overhand left hook. I don't think he got 
caught completely, but it's enough, more of a for slap. The, enough for the count. Another left hook! Swinski really shipping punishment here! It was more of a slap because they're bruising the black eye already on pole. Yeah. Really hard shot that was. Morisano now a little bit tired with his hands down way near his waist. Very dangerous when you're fighting someone of Slowinski's caliber. But like to Slowinski for a right high kick. He's got a hard right kick, should throw a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. It's like he's going to tear it up, but he doesn't throw it yet. There you go. Stay here as well. Good body kick from him. It looks like Kathleen thinks I have done enough for yeah, win tired, this fight. Yeah. He looks tired. There's that left hook again. How do you see this fight, Mia? You know, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kathleen reminds me so much of Mike Tyson. He doesn't throw a lot of straight punches, but he throws those hooks with his entire body. Bad yeah. intentions thrown in there. Bad intentions. Yeah. And there's some bad intentions. Left hip side low kick. Obviously, would just throw straight down the middle. Yep, he could. He, he could, could. He he could get him. Yep. Yep. Now yep. yep. well, the action commences in the final round. A knockdown scored by Morisanu. Piling forward, he really does mean it, doesn't he? Tough, Everything isn't he? he throws. He is like a little tension. It's like a little tank, isn't he? Yeah. He is. The Romanian robot just rumbles forward, doesn't he? But this is shown also on Romanian TV, and uh, I bet they're going crazy at the moment. Yeah. Especially after Raul Katina's obviously got beaten by Ben Edwards earlier. Yeah. Both been beaten by. Uh, one has been beaten by an Aussie, uh, one of nice, nice uppercut by Paul. Oh. oh, the hand! Left hook! Really was a big shot, he waved his hand and said he wasn't. A knockdown, but he's getting up slow enough, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He's really hurt now. You will never, you don't, never, you never want to admit that you're down. Now, but coming up to the last 10 seconds, Paul Slowinski can hold on to this. Just keep moving. Whoa. Sneak right up with a great performance there by both fighters. Morisani, yep. a monstrous puncher, isn't he? He is, and oh. I tell you what, he just keeps going and going and going. He took some heavy kicks. The, the, thing, is, the thing is, you know his strengths and you know his weaknesses. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, uh, he uses his strengths the way he, he has to use them. Well, if Morisano took a head kick off Crocop, for example, it might be a different story. Yeah, exactly. Might be a different story, exactly. But 24 years of age, Ernesto, again, it, oh, it, he's still so, so tough. growing and, it, it, and yeah, getting better. In gospel, in real truth, though, in real truth, it is a young man's game, isn't it? It is. It is a young man's game. You know, at the very, very highest level, we're going into these. It is a young man's game. Yeah, but what is a young man? I mean, I won, I won the last K1 when I was 37. Yeah, but you're a young man. You know, <laughs> feel special. Oh, thank you. Great performance there by Kathleen Morisani. Commiserations to Paul Slowinski. But Ernesto, talking about age and, and you're 37. Uh, you lived a clean life, didn't you? You, you lived the sport. Yes. Yeah, there was no party yes, I mean, you, you know what? More or less, of course. I yes. mean, I was I was always in, into sport. I, I, I didn't drink, I didn't smoke. I mean, sport was more important to me. Yeah. That's very true. There's some of the knockdowns. It was with the forearm there, wasn't it? Yeah. Across the top of the ear of Slowinski. Oh, that was, yeah, that very, was very heavy. Still more of a slap, not, not so much on the knuckles. It's still the German I mean, knockdown, though, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. I mean, this was. Yeah, you can see Kathleen was tired because if it was this, this would happen in the first round, it would be uh, a harder knock, at least a harder knockdown. A nice round of applause from the team from Romania to the young man Catalani, the super combat champion, goes through. 
World, K1 World Grand Prix here in Tokyo.